When it comes to heaven, I try to leave that up to God. I certainly believe that Christianity is right, but when it comes down to the final test, uh, who goes and who doesn't go, Jesus said, other sheep have I who are not of this fold, them also must I bring. I let him identify who those sheep are, and I stay out of the conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks for that. Uh, Bishop, you, you don't stay out of that conversation necessarily when homosexuals are the issue. Uh, what makes you say that? Well, uh, I've read that you consider homosexuality a sin, so if you're practicing uh, homosexual, you're not going to have it. You know, so I don't know anybody of any faith who can say that they have no sin in their lives. I mean, whether it's homosexuality or lying on the income tax or, or speaking rudely to somebody at a, at a window, what, what we call sin may differ from person to person, but who amongst us can say that they have no sin? Jesus said that, and he said, he that's without fault among you, let him cast the first stone. I'm certainly not casting any particular stones at any particular group of people. All of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God, but when it, the question was about hell, and when it comes down to hell, that's an issue that I believe in a way of salvation. I believe that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes unto the Father and say, become by him. But I'm not so dogmatic in my views that I'm willing to condemn uh, anybody and send them to hell. I'll leave that up to God. Sure, he's going to leave that up to God. This first article was dated back in May when Obama first came out saying he supported same-sex marriages. This is an article asking whether or not T.D. Jakes will come out with a public statement against same-sex marriages. Um, as far as I know, no such statement uh, has he come out with condemning same-sex marriages and definitely not coming out against Barack Hussein Obama. Not to my knowledge. I haven't seen anything like that at all. This is a short article about T.D. Jakes' son being arrested. This happened several years ago. He was caught up in a undercover homosexual sex scene. He was arrested for exposing himself to an undercover agent. So his son is a homosexual. This next article is strange. Uh, T.D. Jakes has several so-called spiritual sons who he, I guess, take under his wing in is a spiritual advisor or mentor to these people. But this guy is Michael Irvin. He's an ex-NFL football player, so-called was a Christian, and T.D. Jakes took him under his wing, uh, featured him in some of his conferences across the country, uh, the Manpower Conferences. Um, the man calls T.D. Jakes daddy. So he is one of his spiritual sons, and this is a strange story. This man now comes out for same-sex marriages. Uh, Mr. Irvin, he posed on the cover of a homosexual porn magazine. And he's for same-sex marriages now. He's kind of like on a crusade going around promoting same-sex marriages. And he is T.D. Jakes' uh, spiritual son, a uh, rank homosexual disgusting now this is the same guy this Michael Irvin T.D. Jakes' so called spiritual son uh, saying that God says gay is okay now, there's a video here but I'm not going to play this uh, just reading it uh, NFL legend Michael Irvin claims his recent blowout pro-gay interview was divinely inspired telling TMZ God gave everyone the freedom to choose who to love and you don't mess with God his so-called spiritual daddy must have taught him this mega church pastor and preacher T.D. Jakes this is the product of T.D. Jakes this is the fruit of T.D. Jakes this is his spiritual son saying blasphemous thing against God. There you go. This doesn't, um, I guess, directly have anything to do with uh, T.D. Jakes' position on homosexual marriage and homosexuality. But just to um, get this out here, it probably has a big effect of uh, 
it, it tells a lot about the so-called uh, mega preacher T.D. Jakes. But this is an article about his daughter uh, who was getting divorced. Uh, this is, I think, in September. This is dated in September. But she's only been married about four years, and she's getting a divorce from her husband. And uh, she's a, a, a minister at the church uh, heading some ministry. It, it always seems like the church world is no better than the world. And she undoubtedly is going to continue in her so-called ministry role. Uh, these people are calling themselves ministering to other people and they can't even get their own lives or keep their own lives together. But, and I don't keep up with all, a lot of this stuff because I think these people are just corrupt. I don't pay a lot of attention to it. But I did discover in reading these articles something that I didn't know about T.D. Jakes and, you know, his family. And I wonder how many of his followers know about it. I guess it wouldn't matter to them anyway but she was pregnant at 14 years old and and this is the the daughter of the new Billy Graham truly amazing how the it's no better in the church